Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to the next question on the test. So a town has a population of 12,600 in 1995. And then 12 years later, its population grew to 19,000. And we have to determine the population in 2010. So when I get a question like this, first thing I like to do is I like to make a timeline of what is happening. So in 1995, population we're told is 12,600 and then we're told 12 years later its population is going to be 19,000 so 12 years after 1995 that is what that's 2007 right so the population is going to be 19,000 here and then they're asking what is the population in 2010 so what we have to do is we have to figure out by how much was the population growing every year to get from 12,600 to 19,000 in 12 years. And then with that rate of growth, we could figure out what's the population going to be in 2010. So I'm going to introduce a variable T and I'm going to let that be the number of years after 1995 right because 1995 is like our starting point so in 1995 we know the t value is going to be 0 in 2007 the t value is going to be 12 right 12 years after 1995 and the t value for 2010 is going to be what well 2010 is 15 years after 1995 so the t value is going to be 15 now we know in general final equals initial 1 plus r to the power of t. That's the general exponential formula. So we can use these two figures here and plug them in. So we know the initial is what it starts at, so 12,600. The r, right, the rate of growth we're solving for, and then we know in 12 years the population is 19,000. So here we have an equation and we can solve for r. That's the only variable that's remaining. So the way we're going to isolate for this r here is we're going to divide both sides by this 12,600. Right, because it's going to get rid of it right there. So then we'll have 1 plus r to the power of 12 is equal to 19,000 divided by 12,600 which would give us 1.5079. And then to get rid of this exponent here, what we have to do is we have to take the 12th root of both sides, because this is to the power of 12, or taking both sides to the power of 1 over 12, basically the reciprocal of that. So we take this to the power of 1 over 12. So 12 times 1 over 12, that would give us 1 plus r, right? Because 12 times 1 over 12 is just 1. So 1 plus r to the power of 1 is just 1 plus r. And then 1.5079 to the power of 1 over 12, that would give us 1.0348. So when we isolate for the r, we would get 0 0.0348. Right? So the population is growing by 3.48% every year. So now that we have this, we can actually make a general equation. We could plug it in here. So we know the final population in any year is going to be the initial population, 12,600 times 1.0348, right? 1 plus r, the r is this here, to the power of t. So that means the population, let's actually call this, uh, instead of writing final, let's put population in terms of t, or t is the number of years after 1995. So we want the population in 2010, so we're going to be finding p of 15. So we'll have 12,600, 1.0348 to the power of 15. And when you do all that in your calculator, you would end up getting 21,048, or a number somewhere around that. So that there is your final answer. That's what the population is going to be in 2010.
Now, if you didn't round at this point, right, and you kept a couple of more decimal places, then you may get a slightly larger number than that, but the population is gonna be somewhere around that, right? So first thing you gotta do, find the annual rate of growth. That's what it is. And then when you have that, you can make a formula and then you could find the population in any year. And in this case, we want it at a T value of 15, 15 years after 1995, which is 2010. That's your final population.